Welcome to Empty Cross Ministries Biblical Focal Points as we continue our study and devotions concerning the Lord's Prayer. We're continuing that this morning and we're going to be talking about our Father and that is a common phrase to designate the Lord's Prayer and we're going to open up with the Lord's Prayer here. So if you would pray with me as he taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Once again, this is Anthony Cross Ministries, Biblical Focal Points, Monday Morning Devotional. I'm Dr. David, and we're going to get right to the, devo to the devotional as soon as I get it pulled up here. All right. Make a few adjustments here. Okay. We're uh, talking about the Our Father or the Lord's Prayer. Augustine said, prayer calms and purifies the heart and makes it more capacious for receiving the divine gifts. God is always ready to give us his light, but we are not always ready to receive it. By prayer, we open channels through which blessings, which are always ready, may flow. Have you ever caught yourself trying to impress others by the way you pray or what you say to God. Prayer is not a means of impressing other people. What a tragedy when communion with God is reduced to carnal religious egotism. How then shall we pray? Because it should be our habitual practice to pray daily. Jesus gave a model prayer to guide or fashion our prayers. Jesus said, find a private place to be unobserved. Look, that is in Matthew chapter 6, verses 5 through 7. 
The secret of religion is religion in secret, says McNeely. God is always there in the secret place. Jesus said, neither the length of our prayers impresses God, nor the, rep nor the repetition of words or phrases. Filson observes that Jesus' prayers have simplicity, co conciseness, intellectual clarity, and spiritual comprehensiveness. In the model prayer, Jesus is not concerned about a set form of words, but a model in fashioning other prayers. Our Father who art in heaven is verse 9. Jesus frequently uses my Father and your Father, but he never joins the disciples with our Father. His relationship with his Father is unique. It is a miracle that we can call God our Father who art in heaven. It is a great liberating discovery to be able to call, to call God our Father and rest in His love. We must always keep in mind that when we address God intimately as Father, that we also recognize His infinite greatness as the Sovereign of the universe. Our relationship to God as Father brings us to brings us near to his might, majesty, and power. God is thrice holy, and his name is holy. We are commanded to treat his name differently from all other names. Do you cringe when you hear God's name used in, cur in a curse or in a vain manner? His name is holy and must be held in proper reverence because his name represents all that he is. To honor his name is to honor God and to exalt him above all others. We are even permitted to call God Father using the most personal of all words, Abba, that means Daddy. Look at Matthew uh, chapter 11, verse 25, Matthew chapter 26, verse 39, and verse 42. Look at Mark chapter 14, verse 36, Luke chapter 23. Uh, in 24, John chapter 11, verse 41, John chapter 12, verse 27, John chapter 17, verses 1, 5, 11, 21, 24, and 25, Romans chapter 8, verses 15 through 16, and Galatians chapter 4, verse 6. But the God to whom we pray must never be treated lightly. He is personal and caring and must always be held in reverence, honor, glory, and high exaltation. The psalmist declared, O oh, magnify Jehovah with me, and let us exalt his name together. That's Psalm 43, excuse me, Psalm 34, verse 3. The holy name of God and Jesus Christ must never be used in vain or jesting. We must be reverent before all that God is and stands for. We must keep his name holy. Luther asked, How is God's name hallowed amongst us? He answered, When both our life and doctrine are truly Christian. We worship him in full reverence when we are constantly obedient to his revealed word in his word. Our Father reminds us that he is always infinitely near his children. He is always available to us when we call upon his name. We are always encouraged to approach him with confidence and not be afraid. Therefore, since we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our confession, for we do not have a high priest while we, who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but one who has been tempted in all things as we are, yet without sin. Therefore, let us draw near with confidence to the throne of grace so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Look at Hebrews chapter 4, verses 14 through 16. We must also keep in mind that apart from Jesus Christ, no one can come to the Father. Jesus said, 
I am the way and the truth and the light. No one comes to the Father but through me. That's John chapter 14, verse 6. This concludes uh, Empty Cross Ministries Biblical, Biblical Focal Points Monday Morning Devotional. And we're going to once again close out with the Lord's Prayer. If you have any prayer requests that you would like for us to pray for you and with you, would you leave me a message here on the, this broadcast in the, com in the comment section? Or you can email me at EmptyCrossMinistries at EmptyCross.com and we will put you on our prayer list and we will begin praying for you and your concerns. Let's close out once again with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Folks, stay safe, be blessed, stay in the Word, and write the Word upon your heart. Until next time.